in the Afram war so that all of us will be able to listen to what he said. So, my people, thank you for all of you that have been following me up on this channel. Mechukwa Kababa, bless all of us. Bless all the Biafran families all over the world, he said. He said. And for all of you that have been watching our videos, without subscribing, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to share this video and click the bell icon for notification so that you get notification whenever I upload. So thank you, my people, and my chukwe kabe, my bless Biafran all over the world, and bless our able leader Mazen Namde Kana, and use the poti Mazen Cheme for. May God bless Biafran land also. He say, he say, he say. So thank you, my people. So I want to send a message across to these people because they are not in support of Biafra. Just for one thing, they are scared of one thing. If you ask them, why are you not in support of Biafra, they will be like. No, do you have you forgotten what happened to us before? Do you want that to happen to us again? It's better that we forget about this, you know, and continue uh, 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 living uh, uh, in one Nigeria. One day, God will provide someone that will free us from this. But do when? Do when do you want to sit and wait? If you don't make a move, do you think God will help you? Eh? God helps those that those that helps themselves. You can't sit one place and expect God to help you. You have to start first. You have to make a move. And that move we have made. And God is fully, Chukwa Kabema is fully in support. And he is at our back. He is following us up. He's guiding us. So now, if you are still with that low mentality of preferring being in suffering a smiling country, country that no the, the people that are meant to protect you at once killing you, then it's it's your business. Continue being in suffering and smiling. We are tired of being in suffering and smiling. That's why we are calling for a, a freedom. That's why we're asking them to give us our freedom. Now, let me ask you a question. Is it not better that you fight for your freedom? Is it not better that you fight for your children's freedom than continue being in suffering and smiling? You'll be in uh, suffering and smiling. You die. Your children will continue where you stop in suffering and in suffering and smiling. Like a video I saw on, on, on Facebook of SAS uh, 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 officers harassing a guy like that, asking him to unlock his phone. He refused. He stood to his ground. He said, no, I can't unlock my phone for you. You did not buy phone for me. You can't just walk up to me with gone and uniform and start asking me to unlock my phone. No, they started beating him. How can you, do all of you that are meant to protect people, protect the citizens, at once killing them, at once maltreating them? You just walk up to somebody because that person is holding a big phone. If it's iPhone, if it's an iPhone S smart, you will just walk up to that person and start, tell that person, yeah, yeah, you guy, open your phone for us to look. Really? Is that what you are sent to do? Is that the work they sent you to go do? And look at the comments. People we are like, what is there? Open your phone if you are sure that there is nothing there. Open your phone for them to check. Suffering and smiling. That's what you people prefer. If it has a, a, a if it has a, a this thing, the personal information is there, like a, a, a bank, a, a, a this thing, details, you want him to just unlock the phone, they will assess his phone. You don't know who those people are. They wear uniform because they are wearing such uniform with a gun. You think that they are officers. A lot of things are happening in that Nigeria. A lot is happening there. You people don't know. You people know, but you people don't want to say it. Someone walk up to you wearing a soldier uniform. You think that person is a soldier. You know that that person is not a soldier. He should have opened his phone. Really? That's why you people don't know your rights. You don't know where you belong. You don't know what is rightfully yours. You don't know how to go about your own freedom. That's why you people are scared of fighting for freedom. You people prefer being in, in, in a country that you be treated like an animal. A country that those are meant to protect you are the ones that will shoot you without doing anything. They will be the ones hitting you up and down without you doing anything because they are wearing uniform, because they are being given uniform and uh, 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 gone. They will start treating you like an animal. And you people will not stand up against those things. And you, for Igbo people, I'm talking to you. No anyone won't do, but all of us are Igbo that are scared of Biafra. Listening to that. Uh, good afternoon, Biafran. Wherever you are, the time I send a very warming greeting to all Biafrans. I'm privileged to run into uh, a very dynamic old man that is standing before my. Nothing to. But one thing that moved me so much that I saw him handling the currency 
that is very, 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 very old, but very strong and very, very good looking. And he said he is a major during the time that this republic was declared. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please, can you tell us your name? My name is Josiah Ewena, Major Biafran Ambe. Thank you, sir. sir. What you have in your hand now is the Biafran currency. Biafran currency used during the war. Oh, it was used during the war. During the war. But uh, there is a uh, speculation all around the world that this money will be used again. Yes. Do you believe in that? I believe in that. Uh, are you still strong to see that Biafra comes? I will live strong until Biafra. Mm. Yes. 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 That is good. So, um, today, the young ones are championing the cause of restoration of the land of Biafra. And you are saying you will live strong to see Biafra. That is to say that you want Biafra restored today, today. Is that your mind? Yes. Oh, that is very good. I want well to see that even those who fought and retire are still strong to see that Biafra is restored. What he has in his hand is the currency. This is Biafran currency. The money, the love and cherish. This is the country they really want to defend and they are willing to defend it. This is one of us, one of the IPOB members. Very, very strong and resolute to say that Biafra is restored. Thank you, please. I want you to comment on this post. What is the fate of this old man, even in his age, believe that Biafra will be restored? Let's talk about this old man and his belief. Uh, what I am going to say that the man is pregnant, that he wants to see Biafra delivered tomorrow or today. Said, Join us. Said, you know what that man said? This, this is a man that's known what war is. He has experienced war. He knows how he went then. He's in support of Biafra. And all of you are there sitting back. If you have a small shop, you think things are moving well. Think you're okay. But police, sass, soldiers who come to your shop, harass you, collect your money, you will not do anything. You don't want to support freedom. It's all of you that are Ranting up and down. Leave him and the canon. Let him continue deceiving you people. Let him continue brainwashing you people. Let him continue eh, 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 misleading you people. As if you're okay. As if you're comfortable. As if things are moving fine with you. A country that hates you so much. A country that sees you as a second class. Or not even second class. Third class citizen. A country that one of you or one of your so-called leaders, I don't know who, 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 what, what he was, I don't even care to know. A citizen like you said, instead of them to allow your own people, you the Igbos, you Igbos that are not in support of Piafra, he said, instead of them to allow you people rule again, they will go and invite foreigners to rule them. You think that country likes you? You think the citizens and the leaders likes you? No, they don't. A country that will label you all the bad names, they will call you kidnapper, 419, baby factory, they will call you ritualist, yahoo boy, a drug dealer. Every name they, that, that, that you can take of bad, they will call you that name. As if, the, as if you people are the only ones committing crime. Other people are committing crime left and right. They will not see all those ones. But so far as it's you, they will publish it. It will go viral. Every media will carry it. Now, what shows that that country likes you? A country that is treating you that way. What makes you think that they like you? What makes you think that they want you, you and them to be in one country? They are forcing you to be in, with them because of one thing. If I thought that thing is not there, they won't want you close to them. They will be the one to kick you out. You people that are going back sitting like a, a lazy baboons. You people will not do anything concerning your own freedom. Someone came out. You people don't want to still support that person. They did not ask you to carry gun. They did not tell you to go kill anybody. Just go register near anyone, any, any, anyone, anyone close to you. Just go register. No. It's very hard for you people to do. A country that hates you to the extent they put it indirectly in their currency. But those that doesn't have sense will not know the meaning of Naira. 
spell it yourself. N e a i r o a. Tell me what it means. N e means never. A allow I ibos arrow to rule. A again. They will tell you another meaning, but you yourself as an able person, reason it. Check it yourself. Naira. And all of us are shiplessly happy spending it. All of you being suffering and smiling, you will go inside your house. You say, God, this country is not going anywhere. This country is just one place. Hardship is killing us. We are suffering. Please, God, send a, 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 a savior for us. Please, God, send people that will help us. Please, God, help us in this country. God sent someone to help you out. God sent someone to free you from bondage. God sent someone to free you from slavery. Your eyes are not closed. You are now blind to see it. The same mouth you use in begging God, asking God to send a helper. God pitied you and sent our ability demands and now the country. The same mouth you're using to talk now. The same mouth you're using to call him a deceiver. To call him a brainwasher. All of us are our own problem. All of us. All of you that are in that country are yourself's problem. You say, this country, Nigeria is a blessed country. Nigeria is a very rich country. Nigeria is this one. Nigeria is that one. It's just the bad leaders. What have you done to remove those bad leaders? Nothing. He said, if this one ruled this year, eh, 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 for four years, his leading was, he ruling wasn't good. He didn't do the things you people expected him to do. He said, that person is not good. Leave him. Let's try this person. The same group, the same old cargos, the same corrupt leaders. They will be going around if this if the party if this party if the present party is not doing well they will run they will sleep they will they will just run to another the, the other the other party so that in next they know that in next election everybody would like to vote that party to see if those ones will do what they are they they, 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 they expected to do you vote that one those ones those ones will not do anything you will be like okay next time we will just still try these people only two party in nigeria that is really in the, the, the so-called Nigeria. And they are not doing anything. And you people are not doing anything to chase them out. We are tired of uh, 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 staying in a suffering and smiling country. We are tired of being in a country that will be treated like animals. We are tired of being in a country that those that are meant to protect us are the ones killing us. We are tired of being in that country. We said, give us our freedom. You people refused. And our own people are still the ones kicking it. You see that suffering and smiling? That's where you people will continue being. It's see, we? We are far gone. Far, 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 far. If you think you're with you people, you're just dreaming. All of you that said Biafra is gone, there is nothing like Biafra. I wouldn't say anything will happen to you. Nothing will happen to you. You will be alive to witness Biafra. You will be alive to see your school. You will be alive to see us in our promised land. Then you will know if we are really the people you people think that we are. Or you people thought that we are. You people said we are ritualists. We are power niners. We are drug dealers. We are kidnappers. We are baby factory. There is no name you people have not called us. That we are all of those things. Don't worry. When we finally visit Nigeria, then we will know. The people that are really, they want those people, the people that are really committing those crimes, then we'll know. She is only us that are committing all those crimes. Don't worry, all, all the tribes are free, right? 
Other fried rice are free. Like one, one, one anon pama came to me, came in this channel and said that eh, there are a lot of uh, kidnapping and fraud going on in Biafra, in, in Igbo land. Biafrans are not talking about that. Now, let me ask you, with that, your the, uh, stinking mouth, is kidnapping and fraud going on uh, going on only in, in Igbo land? What of other people? Is it only Biafran people that are kidnapping people or uh, doing fraud? Since you people know, you people know, it's only the Igbos, it's only the Igbos that know how to commit crime. You people like to talk about others own, but you will not talk about your own. You like removing the little piece of wood in someone's eye, but you will not remember to remove the bigger one in your eyes. You people are perfect, are professionals in spreading other people's lineage. All you people are good in spoiling other people's name, destroying other people's name. I say if those people are the only ones that are bad. I say if those people are the only ones committing crime. I say if those people are the only ones doing all the bad things in that country. We are the ones spoiling your country's name, but you don't want to let us go. is there these people are the ones spoiling your country's name now leave them let them go you yeah, people are still holding them back again and all of you are in support of it all of you are withdrawing back all of you are saying no we don't want to we don't want this we don't want that continue suffering and smiling since that's what you like a soldier will meet you will come to you without you doing anything will ask you to start doing frog jump he will ask you to start rolling in the mud Without doing anything, you prefer all those things. A SAS will meet you where you're selling your small market, a small business you're doing, they you're managing. They will come there, they will rob you, they will rip you off everything. They will tell you, collect your money. They will be the one search you to, to search you, they will be the one searching you. They will be the one to dig honey, put hand in your pocket to take the little money you have uh, you, you you have said for the day. Or you have sold anyone. People will not do anything about those things. Police are killing innocent souls, innocent citizens. Sars are killing. Soldiers, the same thing. Ah. You people like suffering and smiling. I will not tell you to stop. Continue. You all deserve it. But we... We know our what. We know what we want. We know our value. We know what we really want. We can't allow those that doesn't, those that, that are not even up to us, to trample on us. We won't allow those that are not up to our class. To push us around we will not allow those things to happen we are tired we have tried thinking that one day things will change thinking that one day they will change they will stop all those things but instead it's get worse it's getting worse day by day If you are scared of freedom for yourself, fight for your children, fight for your generation. I didn't say you should carry gun. I didn't say you should go and kill anybody, but speak out. Speak out. Anything you say, post it online. Even if, if, even if everyone deletes it from their phone, it can never be deleted. Google will remind you. YouTube will remind you. Facebook will remind you. If you are gone, even if you died, even if you say something reasonable to them, post it online. If you are gone, even if you, if you after posting it, you just that or so far that thing makes sense. So far that thing will free some people. My people, thank you. For following me up. 
Thank you, my people. I'm a Shukwe Kaba, my blessed Biafran family all over the world. May he bless our Abu Lida Mazen Nam the Colonel and his deputy Mazu Jamie for. He say, he say, he say. May he bless all of us. He say, he say. Don't forget to share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Okay? Thank you, my people. May God bless all of us. He say, he say, he say.